Hello and thank you for joining me at the JBNM Sports Fanatic channel. And here, um, according to Jeremy Fowler here, that he says that he's talked with the league execs who estimate that Nikhil Harry, current um, Patriots receiver, drafted in the first round of 2019, um, whose agent requested a trade for him, will be worth a conditional six-round pick. That's around the estimation that I had for him. I was thinking maybe a fifth, um, possibly throwing a following year seventh rounder as well. Um, but teams are expected to have some interest in him. And I get it. I mean, he's only been in the league two years, extremely young. So, you know, obviously in the right system, there's still an opportunity that he can go out there and become a good receiver in this league. Um, he'll be looking for an offense that will utilize as, um, you know, contested catch guy that has size and strength, you know, in the red zone, as well as a deep ball. So something that, that plays to his strengths. However, he's not going to be looking for a speed and precision type of offense. You know, that's not his style. Um, and he's also looking to also get a good amount of targets wherever he will end up at. So certainly a team that's looking to to have that red zone threat of you can throw a jump ball up or just have a, a receiver that can go up and catch contested passes. I think that's going to bode well for him. I also believe that he'd probably be better paired with a younger type of quarterback because, um, I mean, his first year with Tom Brady, Brady wouldn't even – look in his direction half the time well most of the time and plus he was limited through the injury so they was never on the same page and if you're someone that wants you know a precise route runner or someone like that you know and, and want to exercise timing routes and stuff like that he's probably not going to be the guy you're looking for but if you want someone that's going to go up there i think of you know over the years what i've seen from past receivers from the giants like you know a plexico burst or something like that just you know guys that can go up there and you know get contested passes you know brandon marshall as well you know, receivers like that. So he's certainly someone that does intrigue when it comes to his potential in terms of what he can do as he was an absolute stud at the University of Arizona State where he played up under, you know, Herm Edwards and company. So therefore, yeah, he's certainly going to be someone that, you know, is going to draw some interest because of the low value and you're not really spending a lot of money for a guy. He's still in this rookie contract. You know, we're talking about just giving up a six round pick. So if you're a team that can use a receiver, you know, then I don't, yeah, you're definitely going to want to at least see what can happen if he's able to have, you know, if he's completely healthy, if he comes in motivated and with a team that actually puts him in a situation that can help him out as last year, you know, with Cam Newton, Patriots mostly ran the ball. So, you know, um, the kill Harry, he's not a guy that's going to get a ton of separation. So, you're going to need a quarterback that can really throw that jump ball to him and give him an opportunity to go win that 50-50 type of pass. So this will be intriguing to see what team step forward and we'll be looking to get him. They'll be looking to make a move sooner rather than later as his agent wants this done before the start of camp. So I certainly understand that there's a timeline they're working with. And he is someone who was, you know, in terms of the Patriots, perhaps on the bubble spot of potentially getting cut. So certainly makes sense there. And just to recap, some of the things that was said about him in terms of his initial scouting report coming out of Arizona State is that he has the ability to make any catch with a massive radius and strong hands. You know, some of the best um, plays that he's had has come with unbelievable adjustments to the football. His concentration just seems to come and go some, but he will let a few slip through his hands that shouldn't um, overall, they say, but clearly has the hands and tracking ability to make catches outside his frame. Just needs to be more consistent. And he also tracks the ball over his shoulder well as well. In terms of separation and quickness, they say overall explosiveness and bursts are missing out of the break. You know, he's never going to be a consistent separator from press man coverage, um, but he does show the ability to break hard and decisively after pushing vertical. He's a one speed receiver without agility to change gears in an instant. Uh, but hey, you got to love the way that he makes cuts, you know, at full speed without, you know, throttling down. So that's a positive. In terms of his speed, he doesn't get to the top speed quickly. And even, you know, when he gets there, it isn't much to write home about. Um, they go on to say that, you know, they don't know what what he, um, you know, will test in the 40 at that time, but that he doesn't play fast. And so they're saying vertical separation against man coverage just doesn't happen. And I did see some of that, you know, with the Patriots, which is definitely hard because they really needed a guy that can create separation in that offense. And that's just wasn't what Nikhil Harry, you know, 
um, represented right there. And obviously being in a situation where he's not going to be asked to go against, you know, a number one corner or at this point, I'd say even really a number two corner, but somewhere where he can come in and be perhaps that third receiver. But as he gets closer to the goal line, someone that can go up there and make some plays in the ball. So it's really going to depend on where he ends up at. But he does have, you know, a high enough ceiling to where this is going to be very intriguing to see where he's going to go. Um, so certainly I'll be watching that. And, you know, when that trade happens, you can be sure to find it here. So make sure you guys, if you haven't already, subscribe. You know, that's the best way to help to support the channel. And therefore, you'll be notified whenever I drop content regarding football, basketball, you know, NFL, NBA, college, you name it, you know. And I'll definitely be looking to cover more and more. So I appreciate you guys and your support and look forward to seeing you guys next time.